nothing runs without fuel. The fundamental principle, right? Every system, every process or endeavor requires energy, requires resources to function effectively. In today's episode, we explore an indispensable source of power that is available to every person. Nestled within the fabric of our existence lies a profound truth. Our dreams are not just idle fantasies. They are potent sources of power, catalysts for change, and beacons of hope illuminating the path to our fullest potential. Let's dive into the heart of the matter and discover the boundless potential that awaits us when we dare to dream. That's all coming up next, right here on Stop Doubting Your Dream. Stay tuned. Do you have a deep-rooted dream you long to pursue but are feeling held back by self-doubt, the possibility of failure, and the relentless demands of everyday life? Welcome to Stop Doubting Your Dream. I'm your host, Jeff Meyer, and each week I'll give you practical steps to turn your dream into a viable source of income so you can live without regret, reshape your future, and create the meaningful change you want to see in the world, all without leaving your day job. So if you're someone who's ready to stop doubting your dream and start living it, let's dive in. Let's take a moment to reflect on what dreams truly represent. They're not merely fleeting thoughts or whimsical fantasies. And I'm not talking about weird otherworldly storylines created in our subconscious that we might have a tough time remembering after a restless night of sleep. I'm talking about the whispers of our soul, the divine spark of creativity and the blueprint of our destiny. Whether grand or modest, our dreams possess the extraordinary ability to shape our reality, to inspire action, and to kindle the fires of passion within us. How exactly are dreams a source of power? Well, I'd like to tackle that question of how from two perspectives. How exactly are dreams a source of power in our own lives for us? And then as we pursue and as we act to carry out and to chase after these dreams, how exactly are dreams a source of power for others? So let's start within our lives. Think about the motivation and drive that is stimulated, that is given power and energy when we pursue a dream. Dreams ignite passion within us. They serve as a powerful motivator to go, to get started, to launch, to propel forward. Dreams also grant us power through vision and clarity. Aspirations give us clear direction and hope for the future. Wrestling down, what path should we take? How should I pursue this? Dreams can guide our decisions and actions toward meaningful outcomes. Power is accessed through our dreams with resilience in adversity. When faced with challenges and setbacks, our dreams act as a source of resilience. They empower us, see there, to persevere, to keep going, to take the next step, propelling us to overcome obstacles. In my work with the Dream Accelerator community, the first module is entitled Dream Generator, and we spend a lot of time helping the clients in our program wrestle to ground their big why and their big who. Why should you pursue this dream? What is the motivating factor behind it? Why? And who? Who is the dream for? The why and the who are one of the gifts that are given when you do the hard work of dreaming. And here's here's what's really interesting about the why and the who. When we need resilience, when we face adversity, remembering our why and our who keeps us going when it gets hard, gives me a spark of energy when I'm lacking energy. I think of a recent client call in our Dream Accelerator community where one of our clients shared a story that she recently, we were talking about wins. Where are some wins that you've experienced this past week? And She mentioned that she had walked 12 miles one day with her husband on vacation. Now, you might hear that and go, well, why is that a big deal? Well, because 
when she started the Dream Accelerator, she was really sick, physically ill, because she continued to grind pursuing someone else's dream and losing her soul in the process. Now, a few years later, after being in her program, seeing that spark in her eye and the smile on her face as she shared this, that story in our recent coaching call um, showed me that knowing your why and your who and being true to who you are and what you're called to do in the world gives energy when you are faced with adversity. And finally, when we think about how exactly are dreams a source of power in our lives, think about creativity and innovation. Pursuing our dreams inspire us to think outside the box, to explore new possibilities, to push the boundaries of what is possible or what we are currently experiencing. We become creative and innovative because of our dreams. So how exactly are dreams a source of power then in the lives of others? Well, inspiration and influence. Our dreams can inspire others to dream big, and pursue their own aspirations. Collaboration and partnership, sharing our dreams and working collaboratively with others fosters a sense of connection and partnership, amplifying our collective impact and achieving greater outcomes together. And then more broadly in the lives of others, as we pursue the dream, we remember our why and our who, we'll get to experience social change and transformation. When individuals come together for, to pursue shared dreams and goals, they have the power to drive meaningful social change and transformation, shaping a better world for future generations. That is why it's so crucial that we don't defer our dreams, but choose rather to act on them. Now let me be your guide for the next few minutes and consider the way of Jesus as it applies to this um, this topic here today. Your dream is power. Let's look at Jesus. Let's look at the scriptures and the way of Jesus and how the clearly articulated dream can provide power and energy. The first uh, application I could think of when I thought about the way of Jesus and how it relates to your dream is power is that it gives us hope while we wait. I love that passage in Deuteronomy 8 the amazing description of the promised land way before Israel is going to enter the promised land. Um, they would repeat that phrase in a land of milk and honey many times in the years while they waited to get back home to access their homeland that God had promised for them. So there's hope that that vision and that clarity that we want to pursue, maybe it's not happening as quickly as we'd like. Maybe we're not experiencing that promised land that we set out to uh, realize when we started our dream launch, but focusing on that why and that who, focusing on the picture of that dream fulfilled can give us the energy of hope while we wait. I also think of how dreams can give us courage against all odds. And in the life of Jesus, if you go to the night that he was arrested, the night that he would be crucified and judged. He's sitting in the, in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he is praying that the Lord, his Father, would take this cup from him. Not my will, Father, but yours be done. You remember that prayer, perhaps. And in that moment, Jesus is reminded in his spirit and in his, deep in his soul the purpose, his why and his who. He came for this very purpose, to lay down his life. And so he's given courage in that moment from the Father against all that he was up against, the abandonment of his close followers, the accusations that would come, the physical abuse that he would experience, and ultimately his death. But he's given courage in that moment because he remembers his mission that was given to him by his Father to lay down his life to save us. So there's hope while we wait. There's courage against all odds. And then there's also guidance and direction. Just as dreams provide clarity and direction in our lives, Jesus demonstrated the importance of seeking guidance from the Father. Throughout his ministry, Jesus often withdrew to pray and seek direction 
from his father. For example, in Luke 5, 16, we see, see an example of that. Jesus withdrawing to a solitary place to pray, demonstrating the importance as, as we pursue the dream to seek divine guidance and decision-making in discerning his will for our lives. And then there's empowerment for service that can come. Dreams empower us to serve others and make a positive impact in the world. Mirroring Jesus' example of servant leadership, Jesus taught his disciples to serve others with humility and compassion, exemplifying this through his own actions, such as washing the feet of his disciples in John 13. Dreams that align with God's purposes empower us to follow Jesus' example and selflessly serve others with love and kindness and thereby making the world a better place. And how about the power source that is given for overcoming temptation? You know, just as dreams give us the strength to resist temptation and overcome challenges, Jesus demonstrated victory over temptation during his time in the wilderness. In Matthew 4, despite facing intense Temptation from the devil, Jesus remains steadfast in his commitment to pursue the dream of the Father. Steadfast in his commitment to God, his Father's will. Relying on the power of Scripture to resist temptation. Similarly, our dreams empower us to stay the course, to not get distracted, to pull off course, to resist temptation, stay true to our values and our convictions, even in the face of adversity. Well, thank you for listening today to another episode of Stop Doubting Your Dream. Can I invite you to reflect on this episode for your dream? Is it clear enough for you to uh, access the power uh, that you heard about in this episode? If not, uh, maybe reaching out to me, maybe being a part of our Dream Accelerator, joining me uh, on February 21st for the webinar that I'm going to do would be an an interesting add to your schedule to help you get clarity on your why and your who so that you might not only begin to pursue your dream, but access the power and the energy that you are longing to receive. I'd invite you to explore my social media and blog for more tips and insights on how your dream is your power. And I want to just put a little plug in uh, my website address is jeffmeyercoaching.com. Check it out. Next week, we're going to learn why resisting the healing process keeps us from the wisdom that we seek and need and how you can lean into the healing process for your own benefit. Remember, the journey towards your dream begins today. Take action with a single step.